Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journey channel. Today we're going to be using a use it up page in my background to create a really quick and simple page. So you can see on the left hand side, this is the page I'm going to be working with today. It's already got a lot of paint on it. Um, when I was doing the page on the right hand side, I had a lot of paint left on my palette, so I decided to add additional colours to it. So I'm going in with a little bit of green first. You can notice it went a little bit muddy and that's because the black on this page is actually ink. Um, it's just normal carbon ink. It's not actually like um, an acrylic ink. So it still water activates a little bit um, as you are going. So just be aware, not all inks are equal. If you want something that's permanent, you wanna look for um, like an acrylic ink and that will dry the way it's supposed to. Because it's quite a interesting background, <laughs> some of it's quite in your face, I want to bring it all together. So I'm just going in with my white paint and I am um, stenciling over um, a, a quite a loopy big stencil over the background. This helps to calm down the background a little bit and help tie it all together. And with the collage image I've chosen, this was from, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the magazine. I think it's just called Women. I think it's just called the Women magazine. Had amazing images in it. Um, so this is an image from there and you can sort of see where I sort of chose the colours from the background. I already had sort of those peacocky colours so I thought I'd continue that on with the green um, of her dress. So this sort of all blends in together. With my white pen though, I'm going in and adding some additional details. So on the skirt, for example, had these sort of big blocky flowers on it, which I'm going in and sort of drawing around and putting some image um, detail in her hair, drawing around her collar and so on. So a bit like on other collages where I use my black pen, I thought having black on this would be too in your face. So I decided to use my white pen instead. Once it's all dried off, because I'm a great at putting my hands straight where I've got um, wet paint. <laughs> then I'm going to go in and um, put a shadow around my image. Now for this, instead of using black like I would usually do, I'm actually using a navy blue. And again, that's kind of just to help it blend in with the background a little bit. But you can see already by just having that little bit of a shadow helps push that figure out from the background, helps her stand out from um, what's happening and make her sort of more of a focal point on the page. Where the um, shadow is a bit overwhelming, you can see I just watered it away so it faded out really nicely. So that's using an Inktense pencil. Inktense pencils, when they have been water activated, become permanent. So um, I don't need to worry about that being reactivated in the future, which is really useful. Um, it's something you need to consider when you're using the Stabilo Oil Pencil, because that will always be water activated. Now I'm just going in with my um, Chrome pens and writing a quote. And I'm writing it sort of across my image because in this instance, the quote is the important bit. She deliberately kind of blends in with the background. You know, I um, had that background. I found that image that sort of matched the colors. So it's more to do with the fact that it matches rather than the image of the person itself, if that makes sense. So I was, I was choosing it more for its color um, rather than the image. Once I finished um, writing my quote you can see I'm going around with my black pen to push it out from the background so it's the same reason this worked with the the figure by putting that shadow on it it really just helps push it out from the background and bring it to the front so it looks like that quote is floating over the top of the background and the image and that's what I really want it to do I am going in with a bit of a highlight as well on the opposite side of where I've put the low light um, don't have to do that. I was just having fun. I think what I was watching on TV was still going on, so I just kept adding because that's what I do occasionally. Um, having my own quiet time in the studio, so why not make the most of it? But it's a really quick and easy way to finish off your um, writing handwritten quotes on your page 
and make them stand out from the background. So when you see the close up at the end, you can sort of see where that white and black really help to push the, um, the letters out and make them the focal point on the page. As I'm finished, I'm just having a bit of a dry. So here you can see where the shadows, both on the figure and on the letters, help push it out from the background. You can kind of see the colour scheme in the figure as well and how it blends in with the background a little bit more too. So I hope you have a fun playing with a use it up page where you've just got random splashes of paint. What image can you find to go with it? What quote can you find to go with it? And blend it all together and see what you come out with in the end. As with all art journaling, there's no right or wrong. It's just having a go and having fun. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.